Oh, I'll tell you what, Shield. If that Snelling goes on like here's much longer, he won't have anyone left to work here. Goes on like what? Well, he keeps telling us we can't come up here to help work on the supplement. He's really getting on my nerves, you know. Oh, he's not that bad. I'll tell you, the way everyone feels down there, he's gonna have a protest on his hands if he's not careful. What's all this? I thought you said you were short of an idea. I am, but for eat it. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Now, you see, instead of using modelling clay, I actually use fondant icing. Like you find on birthday cakes? Yeah. Not only is it dead easy to make, but once you've finished your sculpture, you can scoff the lot. Great. Right. Yeah, I'll watch this. Super cook. Right. Now, a pound of icing sugar. Mm -hmm. Bung that all in. <coughs> <coughs> it's a bit lumpy, but we'll mm -hmm. get on that then. Like that. Can you see me? <coughs> Just about. Right. And now we need two eggs. Just the whites. Yeah, because we'll have to, so we'll have to separate them. In stereo. In stereo, ready? Three, two, two one, one, crack. Just separate the yellow from the white there. We must save the, the yellow. Ah, oh, you can make some omelets for the lads downstairs. Great, yeah. There we go. Have you got a... Oh, yeah, use yeah. that mug. Into the cup, that's it. There you go. In there. Right. Now, I need to beat that, so can you just mash it together for about 30 seconds and I'll continue A. Right. Next is this powdered stuff called cream of tartar. Keeps it all stuck together. Yeah, just put a pinch of that in. The magic ingredient. And then a teaspoon of lemon juice. How's that? Eggs all right? Mm-hmm. Coming Done. on. Done. Magic. And then we just bung the lot in to the basin. There, like that. Just mix it all together. Just get it all in so that it goes into a nice, sloppy, gungy mess. <laughs> Just get it all in so there's no uh, loose powder. Right. How's that? And now, this is my favourite bit. Uh, have you washed your hands, Neil? Of course I have. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, this is great. <laughs> right, I've got to do this for about five minutes just to get it all together until it goes nice and solid. And then we have to leave it for about half an hour just to dry out. So you know what to do by now. Turn the page. Neil, we've been here for half an hour now, and this still doesn't look like that. Yeah, well, it will do. See, I've been doing these all week for the lads downstairs. In fact, I was halfway through this one when you phoned me up. There you oh, go. I recognise that body. No, it's not you. It's uh, old Potato Head. Spotted. Snelling. Do you fancy uh, helping me finish his head off? Mm, yeah. Right. Now, if we're going to do a caricature of him, the best way to do caricatures is pick out one or two mm. of their most prominent features and exaggerate them. So what do you think Snelling's most prominent feature is? <coughs> Say no more. There's a bugle in it, his, his nose, his hooter. Have you noticed it's like a little dumpling on the end of his face? So we'll give him a big dumpling. <laughs> Great. Right, there we go. A dumpling. There we go. Uh -huh. And what about... Eyes. 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 Yeah, that's Popping a prominent out feature. Eyes. Poppy out eye. Have you noticed he's got one eye that's sort of beady on you like that and it sort of scans the area? So we'll just give him one. Can you can you roll an eye? Mm -hmm. And I'll just make an eye socket. I've got a cocktail stick here just to make a socket. There you go. One eyeball coming one up. One beady eyeball. Thank you very much. There you go. And I'll just do a little slip for this one because he's got this one closed. Because all the attention focuses on the beady eyeball. What else? Bit of a chin. Loads of chins, hasn't he? So I'll just give him a couple under there. What about his hair? Tufts. Yeah, there's not much hair, is there? So I'm going to give him some tufts there, like that. There you go. Do you think that's ugly enough? Brilliant. How do you paint it? Food colouring. It's, it's easy. No problem. You get them in those little bottles. The dead cheap. You can use a paintbrush to paint them on. And you can eat food colouring. It doesn't hurt you at all. In fact, Here's one, fresh off my mass production line. This is for Lady Belstow. Spudhead. Amazing. You like that one? Mm. It's good, isn't it? In fact, if you like that one, I've done a little prezzy for you. Oh, Neil, you shouldn't have. Neil, you shouldn't have. My mother will kill you. Oh, Quick, it's smelling. Come on. Quick. Hey! I thought I said no stuff allowed up here. What's that? Who 
Who's this supposed to be? Uh, Yogi Bear, Mr. Snelling. Doesn't look like him at all. It reminds me of somebody I know really well. Of course it doesn't, Mr. Snelling. It's Yogi Bear on a bad day. Not half as bad a day as you're going to get, Miss Gilby. And you... Out! No, I'm staying up here to help Sheila. No staff allowed up here. Out! I've made my decision and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah. We'll see about that. You've got a protest on your hands, mate. I've got it. What a protest! It's not Yogi Bear, is it? Don't just think about it, Mr. Selling. Do it. How will this new situation be resolved? Has the editor Ooh, lost his head altogether? Fine, will Sheila's head roll? Will the staff of the Bellstow Weekly carry out their protest? Stay with it until next week. And if you want a copy of this issue of the Do It Supplement, write to the Bellstow Weekly, P.O. Box 100, Maidstone, Kent.